So basically our studio lines up to the map. If I'm actually navigating around our real studio, it correlates to the game. This is VR, but actual VR. You are literally in a virtual environment. That's so freaking cool. Yo, Clint, Sam, team. We got the XN suit back. Oh, yes. Just got back from their uh, headquarters in El Segundo. Dude, this is our suit. It's like the easiest, most powerful piece of technology I think we've ever had control of in this studio. We have Boston Dynamics 2, obviously it's in the works. We, we have to make a sequel. Uh, I don't know if we'll trick everyone like we did with the first, but maybe it'll be weirder. One really cool thing with this suit though that we have not done yet is this suit streams motion capture data into Unity where we can start playing around with real time motion capture, I guess. The thing that I think of first is maybe we can kind of make our own video game. But imagine you have a VR headset and controllers that's cool because that means it puts your head and your hands into a virtual environment. But with this, you can put your whole body into a virtual environment. So we're going to have Smeagol in all our videos from now on, right? Every single one. Man, with the channel blowing up, I mean, it's been awesome, but it's been a ton of work. But you know what's going to keep me going is knowing that at the end of this week, Sam is going to make us a video game with a mocap suit, and it is going to be the best video game I've ever played. I can't wait. Oh, God. It's, it's, it is stressful, like, basically uh, trying to make a video game from scratch again. So I learned how to use Unity a few years ago, making a fun little game called Sakura Digger as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> he actually made the game. You're a grave digger, and you go around digging up graves, fighting off zombies and finding hentai cards. <laughs> And then his computer got wiped. <laughs> oh, no. And it was then forever lost into the ether of time. And so I kind of abandoned that whole practice and I forgot how to use Unity. Sam's thirst for game design was never quenched. Those latent dreams have been sitting there simmering in the back of his mind. Until today, basically. We have this suit. We can do anything with it. We have one-to-one -one motion capture in real time in Unity. What's the coolest thing we can do? Well, we have a lot of cool ideas, but I think the nicest, easiest, simplest, most relevant one it's just a simple, you know, breaking and entering shopping spree in Area 51. <laughs> I'm making a training simulator. When we don't rush the base, let's use our hands, let's use our legs, let's just max out the movement of this suit, smash and grab, bust open the boxes, steal the alien technology, set little aliens free. We don't know what Area 51 is really like. We don't know if it's the same dimensions of the quarter digital studio, but assuming it is, we'll be highly prepared. So I'm gonna research Area 51 here and use that as the inspiration for this game. This training simulator. I keep, it's a simulate Area 51 simulator. Unity, it's like a 3D program, but it's got this coding element to it. You're not just making things look nice. You're programming things to act and to react. And as exciting as it is to hop back in, it's really daunting because I've forgotten a lot of things that are really important. Things like how to code things. <laughs> After kind of revisiting some old tutorials, I uh, now finally have my bearings here. We can actually make this game for real. I, I can't even focus. Dude, I've always wanted to raid Area 51. This is the closest we can come to actually doing so. Things you need to make an Area 51 looting game. You need your character streaming from the XN software. We need destructible objects. We need loot. If you need any Green Boy assets or anything like that. We'll have boxes. People already just have their hands and legs to kick open stuff. Sweet things like, like little ray guns or radioactive isotopes. We need some intergalactic merch. Hillary's emails. <laughs> like, things like that, basically. The, the true Google Maps. Just flat. <laughs> That's it, really. I'm very excited for this game. I'm super excited because now that I've figured out Unity again, it, it's so freeing. Like, everything's at my fingertips. I can do anything now. There's no limits. This whole game I pitched you guys, that's just the beginning. Should this be a video where I just, like, overpromise everything? <laughs> There's going to be a conversation tree with every alien you meet. You can decide what career he's going to have once yes. you break him out. And I am also building a feature where you can actually romance the aliens after you save them, whether they are male or female. These are all the things slated for development. What? There's also going to be an open world trading system where you'll be able to take your Area 51 gear, exchange it for real cash. You're talking up a lot of features, Sam. <laughs> here we go. As you can see here, we have our scene. We have our character here, some boxes, some moody Area 51 light. Let's make it work. So I'm gonna hit play here. So, but okay, well they're kind of just blowing up, but anyways, here's a guy seemingly in Area 51. As you can see, there's little aliens in the boxes. You have aliens in there already? And just as a test. I mean, the aliens he'll find hopefully will be alive. And we'll have a dialogue tree and a romance system. So break a lock. There we go, break the boxes, yeah. Check it out. Here's the first person version too. See here what he would be seeing. Once again, he's blind. You know, he'll be running around in the studio and he won't actually be able to see this perspective. Very interesting watch still, it's really cool. Anyways, it's very janky still, but it's a proof of concept. Hey Jake, yo Jake, 
Jake? What are you doing? This is Clarence Four in here right now. Didn't you see the sign? Well, my cover's blown at this point. Jeez, you brought a camera in here. Listen, there's been a lot of talk lately about Area 51, okay? And I found out a lot. I mean, look at this, okay? What, what is that? Th I'm verifying, okay? But the point is, in all of this, there's one thing that I know for sure. I'll never have to worry about my internet security. That's because today's sponsor is brought to you by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN protects all my information on the open internet, meaning when I found out that this was real, I didn't have to worry about people seeing my personal information out on the open internet. ExpressVPN protects all the browsers that I use, it protects all the devices that I use, it protects all the routers and all the networks that I'm on, and a monthly subscription is just $7. It brings me a lot of peace and security. Security, okay? No. It's not candy, dude. I get indigestion when I get horizontal, man. Isn't that normal? For just seven bucks a month, you can get ExpressVPN with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And in fact, you can even get three months free if you sign up for a year subscription by going to expressvpn.com slash corridor crew. That's just enough time to get through, I don't know, say the end of September. Okay, that's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash corridor crew. Or just click the link in the description of this video and you'll be fine. You won't have to worry about people out there. Oh, maybe, maybe I'm just on a site. Maybe I'm just a guy. Yeah, that's what he thought. Okay, that's what he thought. I bet you don't know about this, right? All right, man, well, okay. have a good one. Where, where are you okay, going? I'll see you later. That's hey. cool, man. Hey, Clint, in crafting this world where you are raiding Area 51, I'm trying to figure out who are you. I want your help to select the thief. I personally feel that it would be someone with very large thighs because they're gonna be crouching most of the time. This guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's quite innocent looking and he's got flip flops. Oh, the world's most highly evolved human. This is you. Whoa, whoa. Oh, this guy, ooh, he's causing trouble. He got too drunk on Halloween and he wandered into the wrong part of town. <laughs> Wait. Oh, are those the thighs we're looking for? Thigh game on her is pretty good. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Who's this? You're raising that... Area 51 with this mother- Subscribe. This guy from like Tim and Eric. Who is the least likely person to raid Area 51? And this guy is almost top of the list. Well, Unsuspecting, look, 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 he's in third yeah, grade. He has a backpack, which makes him very well suited for, for robberies. <laughs> so we have all these things working together. Basically, I need to create the space. I need to measure our studio. Basically, with these dimensions, I'm going to rough out a general space, basically, and I'll populate that with assets like walls, floors, shelves, boxes, things like that. And then I need to do an actual live test with Clint in the suit. We need to sync up your real world coordinates yeah. with the game's coordinates, okay? And so basically, yeah. someone hits spacebar to open the door, and in the game, you will see the door open and you enter Area 51, <laughs> all right? This can be our sync point right here. Well, this is the origin point. So basically our studio lines up to the map that Sam created in Unity. And right now he's just testing like the barriers of the world to make sure that like if I'm actually navigating around our real studio, it correlates to the game. It's nuts. Go corner to corner now. All right, really close. We're really close. Go back to the, go to the other corner. Woo! We are super, super close right now. The one final test. Now imagine in front of you is a box. I want you to kick it and smash it. Go for it. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I think we're good. In fact, if it's kind of hard to break into this stuff, I think it's gonna be a little funnier and a little better. It was like, kick it! No, you didn't break it! Dude, that's amazing! My mind is blown. My mind is blown as well. This is VR, but actual VR. You are literally in a virtual environment. That's so freaking cool. I've learned a lot about how he's gonna have to interact with the objects and break them. I got my aliens. I've got my containment door. It's working. It'll be playable tomorrow. Hopefully it's playable and also it's got the romance system. At this point, I can only hope that it's just- Wait, is this something you're gonna release? Yeah, I'm releasing it for you guys. I got like seven customers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more excited than anything else. Really looking forward to finally playing this game after all the hard work that's gone into it. It's a small game, but it's kind of a big step for me. This game is a two-player game. It's called Break into Area 51 and Free the Aliens, all right? This is how the game is gonna work. There is going to be one player in the motion capture suit. Well, after his long journey through the desert and the battle with Area 51 troops, his eyes have been blinded by gamma radiation by the time he walks into Area 51. He's walking in completely blind, unable to see see anything. That's where the second player comes in. That player's friend is a hacker and has hacked into the security cameras of Area 51 and it's in contact with him via radio to help him navigate through Area 51. Sounds easy, right? Our first team is going to be Peter and Clint. For real, man. For real. Go for it. Let me check your surroundings. We're good to go. 
Now Clint, when you run out, immediately jump to the ground because there's gonna be a laser flying right over you. Are you ready? Don't play games with me, Peter! I'm literally playing a game with you! Bay doors opening in three, two, one! All right, run straight ahead. Okay, to your right, to your right. Watch out for the trip wires, dude. Oh, okay, stop, stop, stop. Immediately to your left. <laughs> yes, yes. Punch forward, punch forward. Oh my god. <laughs> Clint, slow down, you're gonna hit a trip wire. No, no, get out, get out. <laughs> no! <laughs> what are you doing? You gotta switch the camera angles. <laughs> he's not, he's using the security camera. I don't know, I don't know. Clint, I'm gonna make it ultra easy. I'm gonna hop in and do the camera. I'll, I'll be your hacker. Peter, you failed. I failed. I just love it when I kung fu kick the air and I hear a box break. You have one more shot at this and then you're out. Reset to origin, let's do this. All right. All right, slowly walk out. Slowly walk in. Walk a little bit more to your right. Take two steps to your right. Yes, All right, there we go. There. Very good. So you're gonna step forwards a little bit, and then you're gonna you're taking a left, okay? Okay, you're good. <laughs> yeah, you're kicking a, a pallet. Whoa, yeah, you got something. <laughs> whoa, you whoa, got it. whoa! You got an alien! Yeah. All right, what's next? All right, there's another box directly uh, towards Dean's desk. Towards Dean's desk? Yeah, right there. All right, kick that. P punch it. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> it's, it's more to your right. It's, Spinning kicks. It's Spinning more kicks. to your right. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Touch me. Other leg, other leg. Oh, it's not breaking. You're not breaking it. You're not slamming it. No, there's trip wires. Look out, look out. Stop. Back up, back up, back up. All right, and now turn directly to your right. All right, punch forwards. No, oh, it's not breaking, stop, 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 turn more. Oh wait, you can sneak around. Sneak forwards along the, those computers. Yeah, yeah, like, sneak, there you go. Right above you. No. Oh! Yeah! Oh, watch out, there's a tripwire right to your, next to your left foot. Crawl forwards. No, no, watch out! Back, back away from, back away, back away, back away, back away. There we go. Now crawl forwards a little bit. More to your left, more to your left. Break the pot in front of you I, that I see. Oh no. No, 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 it's in front of the trip wire. Oh, you're good, actually, that's good. You're good, actually. Oh! Yes! 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 <laughs> Clint, Clint, let, do a, do a sp whirlwind kick, quick. Jump get over the here. jump over the trip wire. Get out of there. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yeah! I think, I think that was a good one. <laughs> Did I win? You got a bunch of aliens. Dude, that mule kick, that that random mystery mule so kick. Good. Four aliens, dude. Woo! That first game was absolutely chaotic, but hilarious. I have no other way to describe it. Now, we have two more players. Christian will be hacking, Nico will be infiltrating. I've watched a lot of Survivor. They do these blindfold challenges where there's eyes and ears and a blind person. It's all about the very clear instructions. Christian and Nico have to beat Clint's record, which is freeing four aliens, but not escaping. So if they can free four and escape, they're good. So I hear that Sam actually has a bunch more cool game ideas like this. If you guys want to see them, you should consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss them. Oh, I don't think I can see. I think all these gamma rays that these aliens are pooping out just like getting in my eyeballs. But a good thing I have my hacker friend, Christian. Hey Christian, what's your hacker name? What? What's your hacker name? Sleepy Bear. <laughs> Sleepy Bear. <laughs> Sleepy Bear. <laughs> Eagle Eye. You guys ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Doors are opening. All right. All right, go ahead and walk straight into the room. And right as you get to the desk here, take a kick. Right, two steps and kick. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's one alien. All right, all right. We got, we got two. We got two. All right, take a left. Now face face the entrance to the studio and walk straight. The trip wires are blocked right now, and you're gonna run into a barrel in three, two, one, kick. Oh, to the left a little bit. Too much, too far out of there. There you go. There you go. Oh my God! Stop! Stop! Whoa. Okay. Behind you. Directly behind you. Oh my God. Fully. Now go straight ahead. Two steps and kick. <gasps> oh! Stop! 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 stop. Damn it! Damn it. Appeared. Come on, Sleepy Bear, wake up! It was blocked for a second, and then you knock something that stopped blocking it, and you were standing right there. I want one more. Precision strikes, like Donkey Kong punches, just... 
Here we go. Game is beginning. Three, two, yeah. one, go. All right, straight ahead. Right before you get to the desk, go ahead and do that same kick right now. Kick it harder. Oh, you hit it to your right a little bit. Kick. There you go. Oh, stop, stop, stop. When What's you're going to go toward the staircase, but you're going to take a step over the tripwire when I say take take one step, two steps. All right, take a big step over and walk forward. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, stop, stop. Okay, <laughs> two steps forward, two steps forward. Stop. Now take a one big leap over the tripwire. It's basically that first computer. There you go. Okay, now, now just everything over there, just start smashing. Just literally start smashing. Back in, back in, now back toward the, yeah, there you go. Okay, stop, under the staircase, just smash. Smash everything under the staircase. <laughs> Get forward a little bit. <laughs> He's like, hey. <laughs> okay, okay, you're not gonna reach that table. Let's head to back to the other side of the room. Walk toward Clint's desk. Now, right to your left, take one step, and then kick the box. Kick it, kick that right there. There's gonna be a tripwire in front of you as you walk toward the white wall here. So take one step at a time, one step at a time. Okay, stop, stop. Take one big high knee step over it. Nice, okay, okay, okay. Now you're back in. Now there's a barrel right in front of you with the laptop on it. Just kick a barrel and a laptop. 30 seconds. Nope, okay, to your right. Uh, more toward Nick, more toward Nick now. There, right there. Kick it harder, oh, oh you're out of it. Now too far out, too far out, you're out of the, you're out of the play zone, out of the play zone. There, right there. There you go, there you go. Okay, nothing in there. Okay, 10 seconds, we're gonna make our way back toward the exit. Stop, stop, stop. Big step over, jump over the tripwire. Boom, all right, and then, out. Woo! Oh my god! That was the Heck yeah! Woo! Dude, you're a good hacker, man. That was sweet. Sleepy bear to the rescue. Wow. Yeah, that was a record run. Look at the mayhem. Dude, this side of the room is destroyed. That we felt really good. Far. And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> just, he's just, the room explodes. Dude, yeah. nice work, man. Boom. I'm so glad that we have the ability to do that. That's a once in a lifetime thing right there. Breaking into Area 51. I had a lot of fun doing that. And I'm yeah. sweating not even being the physical player. That's the first time in my life I've worn a mocap suit. How hard is it making this game? <sighs> I can't tell if it's something I should say is easy or something I should say is really hard because there's still a lot of jankiness going on there, but ultimately it all does what it's supposed to do, so I'd say it's easy. <laughs> so much of game development is all about just like squashing bugs. Squashing Alien 51 bugs. Now there's certainly plenty of things I can fix and make better, but now that I've gotten here, the road seems a lot more clear ahead. And I'm sure after watching this, you guys probably have a bunch of ideas yourself, so if you do have one, leave them in the comments below. We're gonna read all of them because we are dying to make more of this stuff. And if you wanna see those ideas come to life, don't wanna miss them, subscribe to the channel so you don't. And if you really enjoy our content, consider ringing the bell, helps us out. That was really awesome. Sam, maybe you should make video games. Dude. Oh, just, just really small ones.